<laughs> well, it's the third time today. It's enough from a wall secret picture to pay for me. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dave. Gareth wanted the best man, but couldn't find one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to compliment the bride on behalf of the bridesmaids. Uh, yeah, bridesmaids. <laughs> I didn't do it myself and how amazing she looks. Your dress is stunning, and you really do look one in a million. Aww. I'd also like to thank the bridesmaids, Rebecca, Charlotte, Paula. Paula. <laughs> you all look stunning. I must also make a special mention to Hermione and the page boy, Oliver. Aww. You both look fabulous. Magnificent reception and our surroundings, particularly the Greek themselves. I'd also like to thank Ian for his speech. I'd also like to congratulate Gareth on his speech. He always knew it would be hard to follow, and I was right. He had to follow the bloody word of it. Just like a manic. The last time you get to speak for three minutes without being interrupted. <laughs> During the service today, I couldn't. Sorry. During the service today, I couldn't help thinking. It's funny how history repeats itself. I mean, it's almost 30 years ago when Ian, Linda, Ian and Linda were sending their daughter to bed with a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> The altar, the place where two become one. And the hymn, the celebration of marriage. I'm sure Liz must have done the same research as I did. Because as she passed me today, I could hear her whispering to herself, I'll alter him. <laughs> obtain a couple of Gareth's old school reports and comments from his work colleagues. Gareth was an ideal pupil who excelled in most subjects. Oh, sorry. He was an idle pupil. In <laughs> <laughs> geography, Gareth is the only one in his class that thought tells me a port was a fine table one. <laughs> Listen, I ask you to put your right hand on the table. Yeah, put your hand on top. That's the last time you'll ever have your plan. No kind of thought his life. He's always gone that he's now to help. I should know. But he's always been there for me. It's a shame he hasn't carried that over to his working life. After lengthy consultations with Gareth workmates. Barry Smith, Piggy, Ashy, Cole, Aqua, Stuart Mark, and a few of his uh, mates that he's known for various years. Noddy, Pete, Carl, Ian, Ryder and Ringo. They all came to the same conclusion. He should be called God, because at work, nobody ever sees him. He's <laughs> <laughs> never do so. He turns up, it's a bloody minute. <laughs> Now, I would not say Gareth was an ugly baby. The man only had body sickness after he was born. One of my last duties before I chose to have a couple is to read a few characters. 
cards. Together. We could have been so good together. Oh, we miss our match by the pool. It's a bluff. Michael Barrymore. <laughs> this, but we'll have a wonderful day. Sorry we can't be there. In person to celebrate the marriage. Lots of love. Charles Farkin, Murray Farkin, and all the Farkin family. <laughs> <laughs> On a sincere note, we've had some excellent times together over the years. And I know we'll, we will continue to do so in the future. You've been a fantastic brother to me. And you've helped me over the years more than you'll ever know. You've also been a great mate to many of the lads here today. So it truly is great honour to be your best man. And wish both of you and Liz happiness in the future. And that note is that note is on gentlemen, but yes, it's standing ways with me, you glasses. Mr. and Mrs. Holland. Mrs. Holland.